you go. Right over there, sweetie. You can do it. All right. Well, I hope you all did the reading this weekend, finishing up Pride and Prejudice, because today we're going to have a group discussion on what it would be like to grow up in this time period. I want you to talk with your partners. Girls, I want you to talk about what you think it would be like being a young woman growing up this time period. And boys, I want you to talk about your experience. Now talk with your partner for about 20 minutes and then we'll discuss as a class. Miss uh, Smith? Yeah? So, um, because I'm transgender, do you want me to talk about what it would be like being a boy or being a trans boy or just being a girl? You know, that's a really good question. Maybe we should talk about it as a class. No, I don't think so. Everyone, listen up. Kevin here is transgender. Wait, does that mean you're a chick? Yes. Uh, what exactly is a transgender? Well, Kevin was born a girl, and now he says he's a guy, and we call him Kevin. So, since in this time period, uh, he wouldn't have been able to, well, act like a boy. So, do you think he should be writing as a girl or a boy growing up in this time period? Well, she, like, grew up as a girl. It's most of their experiences, so it would only make the you most know, sense if they wrote as a girl. <laughs> That's a really interesting opinion. You know, since you wouldn't have been really able to be like this, maybe you should just write as a young woman for now. Okay. All right, thank you, everyone. Go back to your discussions. Faggot. <coughs> <coughs> <Okay. coughs> uh, hey, Miss Smith, I'm going to go to the bathroom. Okay. about you being a fucking tranny earlier? <laughs> what are you, some fucking faggot? Walking in here like you own the place? What the fuck do you think you're doing? Look, man, Dude, I what do you think this fucking dyke walking in here like that? Dude, chill out. You're being really rude. <laughs> Whatever. She's fucking ugly anyways. Hey, that was kind of scary. Yeah, that was not pleasant. Yeah. You know, I'm really supportive of the whole trans thing. I think it's kind of hot, actually. Oh, uh, well, thanks, I guess. Just, uh, um, well, I did you a favor. I just saved you. Uh, I mean... From that really crazy guy. Do you think you want to come over later? Uh, no, man, I gotta get back to class right now. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure. I gotta go. Like, do you want to go with me? I don't have anyone else. And I was like, um, yes. And oh I was like, God. everyone was so jealous. I was That's like, blowing so, so hard. Cool. <laughs> and the night was like so. Wait, wait, wait. What the fuck are you doing in here? Oh my God. Holy shit. Is that that fucking tranny? Christina told oh, yeah. us you're trans. And we like, heard about it. Don't tranny. think we didn't, sweetie. I just. If you want to be a boy so bad, go use the boys' room. Get out. Yeah. My what? boyfriend. Josh, mm -hmm. he's gonna kick your ass if you don't leave right fucking I, I just need to go pee. Yeah, no, good luck with that. Somewhere else. Bye. Bye. See Get ya. Out. <laughs> good job. Madison County Health Clinic, how can I help? All right, what's your last name? And your date of birth? Okay, and you said for Thursday, correct? All right, so I have a one o'clock appointment. How does that sound? All right, so Thursday at 1 p.m. All right, we'll see you then. Have a nice day. Hi there, how can I help? Hello, I'm here for my four o'clock. All righty, what's your last name? Actually, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. I just got married. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Oh, Congratulations. Thank you so much. Um, but now my insurance card, uh, the name on it doesn't match the information that you've got. Is there a way we can okay. fix that? Yes, I just need your driver's license and your proof of insurance. All right, here you go. Okay, so I'm going to scan these into our documents here. Okay. All right, so that's changed in there. And all I'm going to have you do is fill out this paperwork. Um, you're going to take that back with you when they call you back in about 20 minutes, okay? All right, thank you so much. Right. Have a good day. Hi. Hi. Uh, so I just got my name changed. Okay, did you get married too? <laughs> no, actually, I'm trans. Um, I'm sorry, what does that mean, honey? Uh, well, I'm transitioning. 
Oh, so you're moving here. No, I, I'm transgender. Could you repeat that? I'm transgender. Oh, you're transgendered. Okay, well, what can I do to help you? Uh, okay, so since I got my name changed uh, and it's changed it on my insurance, it doesn't match the prescription for my insulin. Okay. My insulin's prescribed to my old name, but my insurance only covers my new one and I can't afford to pay for my insulin. Okay, so what we're going to have to do is because of all these changes, we're going to have to set you up with a new patient exam. That's the only way we're going to be able to like refill your prescription. Are you, are you sure? Yes, that's the only way we will be able to do that. Okay, well, if I'm going to have to be a new patient anyway, do you have anyone here who offers LGBT services? Not at this clinic, I'm sorry. No. Okay, well then can you give me a list of places that do offer LGBT services? Unfortunately, the system I have here, that it won't let me look up that information for you, so I can't help you with that either. Okay, and you're sure there's nothing you can do about my insulin? I'm sorry, no. Okay, thanks for your help. Bye. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Hi, how can I help? Actually, Mom, I have a problem. I went to pick up my insulin today and it's not covered by my insurance anymore. Oh no, why not? Well, uh, it's because I changed my name. Kaylee, this is why I warned you not to do that. It's, it's Kevin, Mom. Look, I, I just, I really needed to. It, it was helping a lot. It's just this one, this oh. one hitch. No, no, you need your medication. This is. What happens when you make decisions like this? Mom, listen, it, it was really important. I, I, no, I, wait, no, no, no. Was it really worth it just to have your nickname on your driver's license? Mom, look, I, I just can't afford this and I need your help paying for it. Just oh, this one time. Oh, wait, no. Do you, do you even know how expensive insulin is? I can't afford that. It just, I mean, I could ask your grandfather, but I don't know how I'd explain this to him. Mom, it's just this one time, please. You know what? Like. Look, I don't have time for this right now. I need to get back to work. I'm sure you'll figure something out. I, okay. I love you, Mom.
Cause you're never too old to feel the way I'm feeling now I feel like a tiger fighter I'm doing my thing, doing my thing, doing my, my thing, doing my thing, doing my And I'm doing just Thing doing.